on excessively high interest rates. Um, relating to the code of banking practice, it's only really come to our attention this year how corrupt it is and how it's affected us. We continually made complaints in 2010 to Cameron Klein, National Australia Bank CEO, Khan Horn, who is the CEO of National Australia Bank uh, Agribusiness Lending, We're trying to get some sort of assistance because our local managers were just completely disgusting how they treated us. Uh, Cameron Klein and Khan Horn both refused to assist us. They did not want to know about the unbelievable seasons that we had, how we could get out of debt, and instead they put us through the court system. And somehow we've got this far, which is two and a half years later, and I don't know how because I don't think most people would get that far. Unfortunately, two weeks ago, the judge has ruled against us and won't listen to our defence. So we'll have to try and do some kind of appeal. So we're not even getting heard in court. And this is where the code of banking practice comes into it because your bankers know this. They know that it'll only take a little technical error on the customer's part and then you won't be heard. So they naturally choose the forum of dragging you through the court system instead of investigating your complaints. So I have so many documented complaints that they ignored and um, I think it's highly corrupt because if you look in the Code of Banking Practice Dispute Resolution section, they claim that every complaint will be investigated. Well, in our case, they were never investigated. And I, this is affecting all of us. It's not just farmers, it's anyone with a home loan. It, it, it's everyone. It's just that we're sort of the ones that are speaking out about it. Uh, yeah, that's about all. All I can do is I can read out some le two letters that I want to go public now because they won't answer me. I keep writing to Cameron Klein, he keeps ignoring me. So I'll read out a letter, my most recent one to him, putting him on notice about the failure of the code and its corruptness. Okay. Dear Mr. Klein, as you are very well aware, my brother Chris Priestley and I are farmers from Walgett and the National Australia Bank are trying to kick us off by improperly dragging us through the court system. After the Federation's worst drought in history broke in early 2010, we needed funds to sow our crops and get back on our feet. The NAB refused and also refused to support us obtaining funds from another source. This meant we could not grow crops and repay our debt. We made complaints about this to you and NAB refused to investigate them. We referred complaints to you because they could have swayed the judge to stay proceedings until you complied with the contract. You must have instructed the lawyers to conceal your dual contracting arrangement from the court because it would have meant the bank did not intend complying with the contract when we signed it. You and the National Australia Bank set us up for failure by not investigating our complaints and knowing the court was a perfect forum for the bank to beat us. For doing this, you should be ashamed. By refusing to commit to the Code of Banking Practice Agreement, you made sure we had the least chance to keep and run a successful farm. You are the person in the National Australia Bank with full responsibility for dual contracting. The bank contract we signed was corrupt and you personally knew the bank had committed an act of fraud. Please treat this as a complaint and investigate it. Claire and Chris Priestley. Thank you. Uh, we also have done another letter to the Code Compliance Monitoring Committee that Katie has been talking about, which is also another corrupt part of the code, uh, putting them on notice as well. This is to Dr June Smith, the CEO of the Code Compliance Monitoring Committee. Dear Dr Smith, I have pe previously brought to your attention that my brother Chris Priestley and I are farmers from Walgett and have been fighting the National Australia Bank for the right to keep our farm since January 2010. The bank agreed to investigate all complaints as part of the Code of Banking Practice, which is part of our Farmers' Choice Loan Agreement. We sent complaints to Mr Cameron Klein, CEO of National Australia Bank, and he failed to investigate them, and so have you. The National Australia Bank's profits from customers are being used by the bank to pay high-priced lawyers to use the courts and conceal the fact it is dual contracting. 
It had no intention of complying with the code from the start and nor did you. For this, both you and the bank should be ashamed. My letter to Mr Cameron Klein is a complaint. If you don't investigate it, we will send it to the Prime Minister because the code is meant to protect everyone in the country from dishonest bankers and dual contracting is an act of fraud. From Chris and Claire Friesley. Thank you. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for supporting us and giving us opportunity um, to be here. And um, yeah, with the um, code of banking practice in the um, in the pamphlet they give, it hasn't got the word forum in it, but it's in the constitution, and they can't. And in the constitution, it says that they cannot investigate complaints after one year, but that's not in the pamphlet that you, you get in the local branch offices. Yeah, so we find that very misleading. Um, they also put possession notices in our neighbour's trees on the wrong farm, trying to take possession of us. So, yeah, it's been a real struggle just to be there. But, yeah, having people like you here and supporting us makes us want to fight it and hope we can get some change done. Yeah, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. You know who your friends are at times like this and thank you to Occupy. Thanks.